was unable to get a wrench in. Really, really decked out for... Hey, what's up? Yesterday, uh, I just finished installing with John. <laughs> John actually installed uh, the lower fairing. Uh, you've seen the video, previous, previous video. But I did not get a chance to install the highway pegs. We had to take them off to fit the... Uh, to fit the lower fairing uh so i'm gonna you know i'm concerned if they'll actually fit back on they're gonna do that right now take the bike out and try to install them see if they fit again i also need to decide if i need the the, the wind deflectors you know i installed them because i was getting a lot of buffeting i have a whole a full video about it uh that i've done the install and the review the ride review it really helped reducing the buffeting almost eliminating it completely uh, but now that I have the lower fairing, I think I don't need uh, the wind deflectors. And although they uh, aesthetically they're pleasing, but I think it's redundant and it adds weight. So I'm going to take them off, uh, take a ride and see if uh, there's no change in the wind, uh, you know, the wind buffeting. And then uh, show you before and after and then we'll all decide uh, what uh, look is nicer. So let's start with the lower fairings and then uh i don't know if i'll get a chance today because the uh, sun is uh, coming down it's gonna be dark very soon so maybe i'll do that tomorrow and i'll uh during editing i'll add everything up to one video and we'll take it from there so let me take the bike out <laughs> well, by the way while i'm taking the bike out uh, let me just show you the other day a friend of mine came over and he's storing his bike uh, with me for a uh, few, few weeks because he went overseas. My buddy just came over and he brought, he needs, uh, he needs my help uh, to store. Wait a minute, Pico. He, he needs my help to store, to store his uh, Yamaha Tenere 700. How you doing? Uh, so he just showed up. Uh, look, look at this beauty. Look at this beauty. Wow. Oh my God, cool. He had, uh, he just bought it a few months ago. Very difficult to come come uh, across these bikes. And this guy's a real adventure rider. I know uh, not, not all of you, most of you are Harley people, but he already went over to Colorado and did a lot of nice trails, beautiful trails over there. So he's gonna bring it over here till we're gonna keep it for a few uh, days over here. And just, it, uh, just updating you, that's it. Ah, it's nice. Wow, really, really decked out for adventure. How does this compare to the Pan America? Not even close, <laughs> huh? <laughs> Believe it or not, these are very, very hard to come by, uh, these bikes. Wow, it's beautiful. Is this the original exhaust? The original no. pipe? No. No? Italian oh, Italian. M-I-V-V, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Full carbon. Wow. Well, two, two, uh, two cylinders, right? Yeah, to compare to the old one, to the original, it's less uh, three and a half kilo. Three and a half kilo, that's uh, significant. Dude, you're ready. Ah, you're, you're getting some use out of it. Really nice. What is this, Owens? Do you know? Uh, yes, I believe. He just come back, came back from Colorado. They put 6,000 miles in less than a month on the bike. The bike is beast. It was like everywhere. It's full of mud. And that's after he literally cleaned it up for a few hours with a, with a power wash. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So how cool is that bike, huh? Anyway, I got the, the bike out. As, I, as you've seen in the other video the day before, uh, I've, I've installed, of course, the lowers. And to get them on, I couldn't, you know, I couldn't have the, the highway pegs on. I had to take them off for, you know, for the install. And now we're going to put them back on. So I left them over here when I was at John's. It looks like it fits. Uh, it's only uh, the bolt that is probably going to be uh, 
problematic to get to with the with the wrench. So let's check it out. See, I have the high the Harley Highway Pig mount, which is like pretty adjustable, and I'm five foot ten, and I need I, my 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 legs are short, and I need this stretched all the way out. Now, if that needs to be stretched all the way out, I need it this way so it's I have the full length so I can actually reach them and the problem is this bolt is going to be really close to the plastic so I have to see uh, if I can fit it this way it's shorter the bolt is in the front as you can see the bolt is in the front and the plastic is not going to be a problem but it's shorter it doesn't reach as far back so the, the position I wanted them originally it didn't fit so what I was able to do is uh, flip them around, put the bolt in front because it was just, when the bolt was on this side, I was unable to get a wrench in and it was gonna scratch the plastic and the whole angle will be awkward. So put the bolt in the front, so I'm getting less uh, extension to the, you know, towards me, but it still fits and I'm gonna ride with it, take it for a ride, see if it's, uh, if it's doing the job. If not, then uh, I have to figure out what to do. But for now, it looks like I tested it uh, on the bike and it seems okay. So I'm gonna do the other side now. Now that's that's how it looks like uh, when it's stowed, folded and that's extended. Now let's do the other side. And uh, like I said before, these guys are gonna come off very soon. Okay, with a lot of tuning, fine tuning, fiddling around, with this angle, this angle, right here, how it folds this way. And finally this, uh, the step itself, there's like three different bolts. I think I actually nailed it. And it's not only nailing it on one side, it has to, you have to feel that it's balanced on both sides. So that's what it looks like from here. I think I got them pretty uh, even on both sides. And when I lay back on my foot rest, I mean foot rest over here and my back rest right over here. I think I nailed the position on both sides. So only highway, highway ride will tell me. I'll take it out later on, like tomorrow and fine tune it. But it seems like actually, uh, I got it set up properly. It's the next day. Now we're gonna take uh, take the lower. I mean, we're gonna take the lower. Sorry, the fork mounted wind deflectors. Fork mounted wind deflectors. Fork mounted wind deflectors. Fork mounted wind deflectors. Take them off, and then go for a ride. See uh, if the lower fairing is gonna block. Uh, all the wind and I will not be getting a buffeting. Okay, the bike is out, but before I start working on it, I like, I'll take a, a little walk around before and after, you know, I like to do those uh, those uh, shots before and after while with some nice beating music. So let me get the shots now. how fast and easy it is to disassemble and to take apart uh, as opposed to putting them together. If you remember, I have a video, like a 20 minute video of how to put them, uh, how to set it up. Taking apart is always so much faster and easier. Now let's do the other side.
that's it we're done now let's let's shoot a shot with it uh off and then we'll compare during editing i'm going to do the nice you know before and after thing so What do you guys say nicer with or without hit me down in the comments what you like better now i'm going to take it out for a, a ride and see if there's any change with the wind uh, buffeting so that's it as you can see i'm all alone over here it's uh around 9 uh, 9 p.m we're over the atlantic heading eastbound we're at uh, 38,000 feet and we're going 85 percent the speed of sound uh 0 0.58 mach uh the other captain went out uh to the bathroom and actually i'm letting him letting him in right now um, he's back so catch you later doing all the recording <laughs> okay two things we need to test ride today it's the uh high peg that i mounted them properly and first of all i see that getting access to them opening them up is easy We'll have to try them out on the on the highway as well. And second thing we need to check is uh, high speed helmet wind buffer. Now that I don't have the, uh, the wind buffer over here, so we'll go here. Okay, guys, I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm doing a voiceover because uh, for some reason. My microphone on my helmet wasn't working properly, so I'm going to do a voiceover here for you guys. Okay, now we're going to be speeding up to highway speeds to see if uh, the wind deflectors are required uh, or not required anymore. There is a noticeable change. The main change is with the flow, the flow, the wind flow around uh, my body, the what I like to call the quiet zone. Uh, the quiet zone is different. The bubble is different. The airflow around my body is different. But still, there's actually no buffeting on my helmet. There's no uh, wobbling of, of my head. So, So my conclusion is that the lower fairing uh, is actually blocking the wind and uh, it's a good replacement actually for my uh, fork mounted wind deflectors. Now the decision uh, is all about uh, the aesthetics, the aesthetics of the bike with or without uh, the wind deflectors. Which looks better in your opinion you guys, so do me a favor, write uh, your comments down below, let me know what you uh, what look you prefer with or without oh my feet i need to get used to the my i keep bumping my 
my feet on the fairing when I move them from the pegs to the to the to the brake and uh, to the gear lever. Right there, like that. Right there, you see? I need to get used to doing this. What I'm doing right now, by the way, I put in the GPS a location where I have to test out where I want to do my next video. It's pretty cool. Uh, so I'm trying to find a nice, quiet place where I can do my next video. So I'm going to test that out, check it out, see if it's uh, if it meets my standards. I think it's going to be a really cool video. So stay tuned for it. Make sure you check it out the next few days. Woo! Oh my god, look at that deer on the right. It's a little uh resort that during the winter is a very small slope so kids can learn how to ski over here so during during the winter I mean it's a ski resort but during the summer it's like I don't want to say abandoned but there's not much going on over there and that that's a place where I want to do my next video because I need to be all alone I can't can't you know talk to a camera with all the people all around me oh yeah it's perfect yep yep I just found exactly where I'm going Yep, perfect. Oh, so pretty. I see. Do you see the ski, uh, the ski lifts? So during winter, this is amazing over here. Okay, I definitely know where I'm coming for my next video. Perfect. Wow, this is a beautiful road. You know what? I just realized that I didn't open up the vents at my in the like in the lower fairing and my feet are not hot and it's 90 degrees out. Let me just open those vents up. Let's see if that is any better. Cuz I didn't even realize. Let's see. There you go, that's open. Now slide this one to the side. And that one's open right there. Now let's see. Oh yeah. <laughs> what an idiot. Sandy, you're an idiot. Oh, a lot of air coming in. Yep, very nice. Perfect. Well, guys, this is perfect. Really. So, guys, that's it. That's it for now. Hope you enjoyed this video. Appreciate it if you give me a little thumbs up over there if you like the video. Want to watch more of these videos and you're not signed up yet, then subscribe to the channel. I'm Sandy from Holy Shift. Guys, until the next video, peace out. Bye.